All right, Dad, sing us our new song. <laughs> our theme song? Yeah. We are taters. Dad's a Fia booger, Mom. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> we are taters. Dad's a Fia booger, Mom. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome to today's vlog. I'm so excited because we got a big announcement that I'm gonna make at the end of the vlog, of course. You gotta watch the whole thing to get the good stuff. But right now, I'm taking the baby for her first visit to Granberry's pool. That's right, Barry's Riviera, here we come. She was talking to me all morning. I woke we up and we were face to, to face. She just wah, 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 wah. Why were you wah, 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 wah? She's cooing and calling, we trying to tell me something. And we finally made it to Granberry Riviera. She's got the baby. See? This is a plus plus for me. I gotta relax, give Granberry the baby, sit out in the sun. Lord knows I need it. I am pasty. Oh no. Not bad. It's bad. I look at mom, she's got the tan going on. She's got this beautiful pool out here ready for our enjoyment. But on a whim, I called her and was like, hey, I sent her a picture of Sophia in her new bathing suit said, uh, can we come to the pool? And she said, come on. What? We lucked out today, and then we grew berry. She said, don't you get me on camera in a bathing suit. <laughs> We've been waiting on the invite. So thank you, Granberry. You're welcome. <laughs> Brought Booger too. And look, so Grand Stand. Yes, he got it ready. Look what they did their backyard here. They're supposed to have a guy coming to grind the stumps. And they're supposed to put up a gazebo and all these things. and. Um, you know, so it could turn out to be a, a very eventful day. They're getting a freezer because Stan the man's getting a half a cow. So they got to have a freezer now to put it in. All I know is I better be invited over for steaks. For grilling out by the pool steak dinner. Isn't that right? <laughs> yeah, buddy. Uh, look who's here. Oh, and there's oh the spit God. up for like, the camera. The camera goes on. Why are you doing you that? did that on purpose. I was like, she's like, said, I'm, I'm not show showing you. off my bikini body yet. Say, hey, Aunt Brittany. Hey, did you have fun with the trucks? What do you have in your hand? Did you have fun today? Tell Aunt Brittany, what did you see? What did you climb up in? Look at this baby. I don't know. Did you climb up in a garbage truck? What color was it? What color was the truck you climbed up in? A white truck? It's a white garbage truck. Oh, okay. Did you do fire truck there? Mm -hmm. You didn't climb it? What about the big red one? What one's that? What's that one called? Fire truck. Did you like that one? Did they honk the horns? No, I did. You honk the horn. Only special people get to honk the horn. You can touch her arm. You want to kiss her on the hand? Give her a kiss. Oh. She's got the smallest little toes, doesn't she? They're getting bigger and bigger every day, though. Look, is her foot as big as your hand yet? Let's see. Let's hold them up. Not close. Oh, it's, it's close. It's close. Yeah, it's so like a baby too. Your hands are small like a baby too. <laughs> In 14 years, will you drive her to school <laughs> for, sure. for your Aunt Brittany like, yep, and all the rest it. of them? I'll do it. Oh. Give her a hug. Oh, oh that's the I sweetest. You're being so nice and gentle. She's a little baby, so you gotta be gentle mm -hmm. with her. Don't mess her doctor said she's got a flat head. I was like, oh. oh man. So, more tummy time. Oh, look at this mermaid! Ooh, it's a mermaid yes, princess! Yes. Holy moly. How cute is her hair? I love it. I like that bracelet. Yeah? Oh, that's so sweet. Here's so sweet to baby Sophia. I'm glad she's got her big cousin looking out for her. You're gonna take care of her, okay? Be real sweet. You said you hear a heartbeat? Those are chins. <laughs> yep, she's got some crazy hair. Those are her ears. Be gentle. See, you got some of those too. Yeah, your ears. <laughs> you just gotta be gentle with hers because hers are little baby ears. Mom, she's going to shake. Ah. Shake. <laughs> You're already wet. Hey. <laughs> Y'all check out this adorable little onesie. She said, party at my crib, bring a bottle. Woo -woo. Isn't that cute? 
So what's going on, y'all? Thanks so much for watching our last vlog. Um, yeah, so her shots, you know, went surprisingly well. And uh, she said, the doctor said that it might get worse as the week went on. But she's been really good, actually. She's been doing okay. She's a trooper. So I think it's really important to um, get shots and vaccines and stuff like that. I know some people disagree, but it's probably the people that disagree is the reason that there's like measles outbreaks, you know? So I'm gonna trust the people that really put the time and effort into learning about it, like my doctor, and I'm gonna trust my doctor, and you know, uh, that's why we got her shots. So, I hope you all are getting your shots too, and getting your vaccines, and so we can all be healthy. We just want to make the world a healthier place. Okay, y'all, so we have a big announcement. We're really excited about this weekend. We got something crazy going on. So we're really excited to announce that we are going to Maine. Yay! We're going to Maine. So Daddy has to go to work in Maine, like up in uh, Portland, near Portland, Maine. And he's already been gone for, you know, over a week now in Virginia working. And instead of being away from each other for any longer than we have to, we decided we're just going to go to Daddy. If Daddy can't come to us, we will go to him. So that's kind of what we discussed. You know, when he has to travel for his job, he doesn't want to miss out on her, you know? It's one thing when it was just he and I, but now we got her to think about and he misses her really bad. And so we said, okay, well, we'll just make it work. And you know, some days you'll go out of town for work and that'll be fine. And other days when you go out of town, you're bringing us with you. So he's gonna have his posse with him in Maine. And even though dad's got to work, me and her are really excited to go and see the sights. Um, I've been to almost all the states, but Maine is one of them that I have not been to. I think I was at like 40 states that I've been to. Um, but I haven't been to like Maine or Vermont, New Hampshire. Uh, so I'm really excited. This is my first time in Maine. It's her first time ever flying on a plane. It's her first time in Maine too, or any other state. And uh, Corey, I don't think has ever been to Maine. So... We're all really, really excited to go on this little trip, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. I am a little bit nervous about flying with her. Um, I'm sure some of you have flown with babies before, and you know that it could go one of two ways. It's either gonna be really good, or and really easy, or it's gonna be mayhem. So hopefully, she flies good. Um, I've been asking, since I knew that we were going up there, I've been asking a lot of people for their advice on how to fly with a little baby. And we're flying on Southwest, so I love Southwest Airlines. So we're already gonna get our two bags for free. But apparently, you can get your um, car seat and your stroller fly for free with like any airline. So that's really good to know, I didn't know that. Um, so we're definitely gonna be taking her car seat and stuff and we're gonna rent a car when we get there. And I'm contemplating, should I take the base of the car seat with us? Or should we just strap it in with, you know how you can strap it in with the seat belt? You don't know either. I don't know. Strong neck, baby. So we don't know if we're going to uh, take the base or not. But if I have room, I definitely would like to take it. Because I know she and I are going to be doing a lot of sightseeing. And we're going to be kind of driving around Maine and looking at all the cool places to see. And it'll just be a lot easier, I think, if I could just snap her in and snap her out. Um, because I'm taking the snap and go. I think that's what it's called, where you just put the car seat on top of the little stroller. That is the stroller, is the car seat. If y'all have any suggestions or tips for me when flying with a little baby, please leave it in the comments and tell me, you know, what I should or shouldn't do or, you know, just whatever knowledge you can lay on me, bring it on. Because I need all the knowledge I can get. Hey, this is the Sophia Show. Look. Say hey, everybody. Hi. We're really excited to go on our first big trip. Yeah, hopefully she's okay. I'm really worried about her ears popping. Um, I think it was Katie was saying, well, give her the bottle when you're taking off and landing, like, or a pacifier or something. Um, so she's sucking on it, and maybe that won't hurt her ears. But I know my ears pop when I go on a plane, and it hurts me. So I can only imagine for a little baby, that would hurt so bad. So hopefully she doesn't have her ears pop and hurt her real bad. I'm just worried about being the girl on the plane with the crying baby. You know? 
Like, I feel like that might happen. That, I might be that girl. Let's not be that girl. Right, let me put her down. Okay, got her happy. So, um, yeah, so I was really interested in getting some comments about traveling because we're leaving just in a couple days. And, uh, you know, this is a first for me, so I'm a little bit nervous. Um, I do know that I'm probably going to leave stuff. I'm probably going to forget a whole bunch of things that um, it's probably going to be crazy and stressful. But I already know that. So I'm going into this whole thing, like, knowing that it's going to be stressful and I'm just going to deal with it. You know, we're going to get through. We're going to get there. And so we can all be together as a family. Unfortunately, Booger will not be joining us in Maine. But it's okay because we have an awesome family. And my mom and Cullen have both agreed to take Booger for the week we'll be gone. So, we're, well, right now it's going to be... 10 days, but um, we might come back a little bit early, so we're not exactly sure how long we'll be there. We rented a little Airbnb. It's right on the water on like a lake up there. And um, hopefully it's just really pretty weather. And hopefully there'll be a lot of uh, cool things for me and Sophia to do while daddy's at work. And then, um, you know, when he gets home at night, we'll, we'll be able to be together as a family. And that's the point, right? That's the goal is just to make sure that we're all together as a unit. So we're really excited to start packing and getting ready for our big trip. Um, some of the things that I know that I wanna do is leave diapers and formula and things like that that we need that are big and bulky. I'm just gonna buy those when we get there. So I'm gonna take it up diapers and formula and stuff to get through the airport, but then when we get there, we're gonna buy like a big box because we are gonna be there 10 days. So that's something I know that I wanna do. So if you have any, like I said, if y'all have any suggestions and tips for traveling with a little baby, please let me know. Leave it in the comments, okay? So if you've watched our vlogs from before, you know that we have a creek down behind our house. And last summer, we had so much fun taking tubes down to the creek and we would attach them to this rope that we had attached from our side of the creek to the other side. Well, this summer I said it'd be really nice to have like stairs to get down there because it's really steep and it's hard to get down. So Corey has begun building us stairs to the creek. So I want to show you. I just came down here the other day to see what all he's gotten done and you know he's got a ways to go but I'm really excited he's got it cleared out and ready. Here check it out. See how steep it is? So yeah, he's gonna build us stairs and it's gonna go down there to our little creek. So stay tuned for that update. I'm really, really excited to show you guys, you know, the stairs and the fence when he gets that done. We have big plans for this house, but we don't know if we're gonna even be here to enjoy it, to be honest with you, and I'll tell you why. We are seriously considering building our own home. I know, isn't that exciting? Um, if you have built your own home before, you know how this process works. Please leave me in the comments and say yes or no. Yay or nay. What do you think? Do you think we should do it? We love, love, love our house. We just wish that we could pluck it from the subdivision it's in and put it on a couple acres of land. That would be a dream for us. And so we have actually started to really consider doing that. So we have an appointment set up to talk to someone at the bank that's going to tell us how we can do that financially, if we can do that financially. So yeah, stay tuned and I will let you know if that is going to be our next big thing, you know. That's going to be like a lot to handle. We want to get pregnant again as soon as possible. I have her and then to be building a house on top of it, it sounds like it'd be a lot, but... I don't know, it would, I think it would just be so worth it to have a home that we built ourselves, that we did it exactly how we wanted to do it and that we had a little bit of land to roam around and a little bit more privacy so we can walk outside naked if we want to do, you know. I think if we decide to do this, it'll be really nice to have a little land. So tell me what y'all think. If you think I'm crazy or if you say go for it, just tell me what you think down in the comments. And uh, yeah, wish us luck on this flight. I'm sure I'll have a vlog up and I'm gonna record it and uh, so y'all can see if, it's, if it goes well or not. You're gonna see on the next vlog. But thanks so much for watching today's vlog and uh, stay tuned for the next vlog and you'll see if it's a good trip or not. So fingers crossed for me, everybody. Hit the subscribe button, press the like button, leave me the comments, all that good stuff. And uh, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.